By the time I took a decision to succeed, I was 37 years old. I had three children. I was living in a three-bedroom house. I would receive letter from my children's office, children's school, that I need to pay 12,000, 13,000. We remove our children from entering school bus so that they can enter into a whole, uh, car to go and drop them. We were trying to cut costs. The answer is not cutting costs. The answer is making more money. Now, once you begin to cut costs, you reduce your thinking and your creative skill. You reduce it. Straight, you reduce it. Now, so with that, I now said, what would be my target? Eh? I didn't have that. I live in a three bedroom and it wasn't working. No money in the house. I was, they, my salary was 300 and something thousand naira, which may look big, but my house rent, I had my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law in the house with my wife and my children. And then I had just resigned from, my, from the company I was working with because I said I wanted more. Until you get hungry, you will not look for food. That's why my first statement is hunger is the gift of God to man. Until you get hungry, you will not look for food. But if somebody gives you food, you will not get hungry. And when they continue like that, that desire to hunt dies. The man that, is a, that wants to be a motivational speaker, even from today, he can start. Face the mirror. Have a message and then do five minutes every day. How do you need to face the people? Don't need to face. You have 7,000 customers on your phone or 3,000 on your customer. Go to your YouTube. Go to your, what they call it, Instagram, what they call it, WhatsApp. And post your video there. People will see it. And every habit takes 21 days to create. Post it on day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day eight, day nine, day ten. By the time you do day 21, day 22, they're waiting for you. Because you have created a new habit. If you don't do that, because if you stop one day, you have to go back and start all over again. Success is a product of habit. Failure is a product of habit. If you don't fulfill the life cycle, you have to go and start all over again. When you find your purpose, die there. Feed it. Because your passion needs to be fed. By 20, you are... See, if you join the military, you only need to be 17 years old. You need a letter. By 18, you don't need a letter. So if by 18 you can join the police, the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, with that permission from your father, they will teach you to use a gun, give you Nigerian coat of arms, you can fire and kill a person. Nigeria will defend you. Why would you tell me an 18-year-old boy cannot learn to succeed? So when a man is 20, he should be accountable for himself. But show me how many of us young boys and girls can account for ourselves. We're at home, chopping bully, chopping this. If you want to try, your parents will do this. And because they don't know anything, they believe that that's how life is meant to be. Now, between 21 to 30 is when you make your mistake. That's when you try, you fail. And that's why most of student leaders, they win. Because you are trying politics. You are trying this governance. You are trying this leadership. Now, you will be today as SUG president. Next year as director of sports. Next year as a JC chef. But if you don't fine tune your character then, it is one thing to get to the palace. It's another thing to stay in the palace. Diligence takes you to the palace, but it is character that keeps you there. 30 is the year of grace. Everything you have learned, everything, 30 is when you are given permission to exercise it. You must become an expert by the age of 30. If you are into trading, you must be an expert by 30. If you are into business, you must know that business by 30 because you should have been making mistakes. Try, fail, try, fail, try, fail, try, fail. Then by 30, you should have started that your business or whatever you are doing. This man is already working in the field. He's already into politics. So now he has to work it out. Because 30 to 40 is your year of speed. That's where you have your strongest energy. When you get to 40, 40 means the end of probation. End of probation, if you get a, an appointment somewhere, you get a probational offer. After three to six months, they tell you that, look, your confirmation of appointment. So they now give you all the benefits. So at the age of 40, is what they call the end of probation. You now begin to live the life. 40 to 50 is the age of mastery. You're an expert at that age. You're an expert, you're a governor, you're a commissioner. That's their age. Now, once you get to 50, 50 is the peak of a man's energy. Listen. 50 is the peak of a man's energy. So if a man comes to tell me he wants to be a lecturer eh, at the age of 50, wants to just become a lecturer at the age of 50, he will not affect too many people. He will not. Because you should have started thinking about that when you were 15, 16, 17, 18, so that you'd have exercised yourself. 
and that is me being truthful. I tell people I don't paint it black or white. I say it as it is. Now, but if you know these laws now, and you find out that your age is 39, you want to be a lecturer, it is now time for you to decide what target is it and what is the direction. Because once you define your target, direction appears. And then what 50 to 60 is where you are doing mentoring. And 48, so I decided to fast track it back. To go back. I started doing it at 44. So I started from 44 to mentor. Because if you want results in three months, plant yam. One year plant, I mean, in three months, plant corn. One year plant yam. But if I want results of a lifetime, I plant men. If I teach you and show you, if I come to Ogun State again, would you not be happy to say, oh God, come and stay in this hotel? That's mentorship. That's mentorship. That's what, that's what I'm supposed to do. When you find a 50-year-old man who comes and has to prove a point, know that the person has failed. He did not mentor people. At this stage of my life, I need to mentor people till I am 60. When I become 60, I can retire. Can you imagine if I'm 60 and I come to this town and you, you are the governor of the state, would I sleep in this place? You would say, Oga, come, 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 come. Why? Because I have paid a price. So there is a part of your life you must know, you must do. Ignorance of the law does not exonerate you from the problem. And I said it in that place. Yes, yes. Ignorance. So don't come and tell me you don't know. If you don't know, you miss the opportunity. And that's life for you. And that's one of the things God gave us, willpower. Find out. If your father is not teaching you, look for another father. Go to YouTube and find a father there. Uh, go and find a father. Who knows where he's going to and will take you there. When you make money there, you can come and take care of your father. My mom disowned me, but guess what? I built a house, four bedroom. Put two dogs there. Put telemetry system in the house. Put soldiers to be able to monitor the house. I have guards there. I don't need to be a friend. I just need to honor her. I don't need to be a friend. My mom and I were not very close. Though. But I still have to honor her. She's on salary from the company. My stepmom is on salary because it is my responsibility. I understand my responsibility. They are not my friends. They are my parents. So I honor my parents. I don't have to obey them. I tell everybody that you need to, the, the, the battle is no more. It is not the big that swallows the small anymore. It's the fast that swallows the slow. The fast that swallows the slow. So it is not a function of whether I am qualified or strong enough. It's because I got hungry.